hi guys and welcome back to my channel i've literally had like so many not notifications saying like oh new people subscribed here and there i was like oh my god people are actually subscribing to my channel so yeah if you're a new subscriber thank you very very much for subscribing and if you've been here for a while then thank you um so yeah so for today's video i wanted to do a very bright well i've been doing bright eyeshadow looks <laughs> for the past <laughs> like basically all my eyeshadow looks have been bright besides last week's one because it was a bit like smoky but yeah so for today's video i wanted to do something like orange and yellow so i thought i'll go for a sunset kind of look so yeah so today we're going to do like a sunset eyeshadow look and i'm going to show you guys how i do that and everything else and my whole entire face as well just not the eyes and yeah even though in the uk right now there is literally no sun whatsoever so we're going to create our own sun because this weather is actually depressing it's been raining every single day i'm just like um it's june it's supposed to be summer like what happened you gave us sun in march and april we didn't ask for it and now that it's actually summer now that my exams are over now that i can actually go outside it's supposed to rain like are you okay but anyway so yeah today we're going to do a sunset kind of look so if you want to know how um i'm going to do that then make sure you keep on watching okay so first what i'm going to do is tie my hair back because yeah i don't want to ruin it okay so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to prime using my milk of magnesia so I'm just going to pour that all over my face. Alright, cool. So, as we let all of that dry, we're going to start with our eyes. And as per usual, I'm going to grab my Good Chris Canvas by Makeup Revolution. Can you guys see the name? Anyway, it's the Cook Chris Canvas. Google it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put that all over my eyelids. Alright, now that the base is done, we're going to go straight to eyeshadow. And today I'm going to use my Morphe 3502 palette again. And I'm going to go into this orange shade here. And I'm just gonna put that as a transition color. Okay, now that the eyeshadow is packed on there, I'm gonna use the exact same brush without adding any product onto it, and I'm just gonna blend. Alright, cool. Now that's fully blended, I'm going to take um, a smaller blending eyeshadow brush and I want to take this shade here. I think it's still a bit of an orange, which is a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is put this darker orange on the outer and inner part of my eye. So here and right here. all right that's very orangey right now what we are going to do is is create a halo not a cut crease but a halo so take your cut crease canvas one more time put it look just a little bit on the back of your hand and then grab a very small flat eyeshadow and brush and just put it on your lash line just a little bit and then look up and obviously wherever that thing just transferred that's where we're going to create that halo where's my small mirror because i can't see right give me two seconds so basically you wanna it's basically cutting a crease but not a full crease it's just like a crease in the middle so focus that cut crease right here and literally that's all i want you to do like right let me get close 
like right in that center right there. And then just bring it down. And that's all I want you to do for, for that. So I don't go all the way down. I don't go all the way down in the inner eye part either. So just stay in the center. I'm going to do the same to the other eye. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then what you want to do, take that small fluffy brush. Put a little bit of that dark orange that we put in, in and that outer part. And then she's gonna repeat the same thing. She just blend that concealer. So I'll pull it right here and right there. And just blend it into that concealer, but not all the way in because you don't just you don't want to ruin all the work that you just done. So yeah, just pull it right there. Love her. And then do the same to the other eye. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, now what you're gonna do is Take basically any gold, um, any gold eyeshadow that you have. This one is from, I don't know where it's from. <laughs> it's just a single shadow, which is gold. It's, it's a very old um, eyeshadow, so I have no idea where I got it from. But yeah, taking a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to spray it a little bit with my fixed spray, so just to make it a bit wet, so it applies better. You're going to take some of that gold, literally just pack it on on the brush. And then you're going to pull it where that concealer is, so right in the center there. Make sure you don't go be you don't go beyond that concealer line. You just want to keep it where the concealer is. So right in the center here. Okay. Now do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, now when you're done with that, again, take your small fluffy um, eyeshadow blending brush and without adding any more products, I just blend that orange into the gold so it looks like the transition is very seamless and not harsh. You're basically just trying to marry the two colors together, if that makes sense. So just blend that. So it look like one and not two shadows. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna do the same here. Okay, and that's literally all the eyeshadow done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, apply some mascara before we add eyelashes. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyelashes off camera and then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so my eyelashes are done and I'm literally in love with these eyelashes. Like, they are so cute. I literally got them from AliExpress. They came like in this box. Like, you get so many. They're more the same style, which is what I'm wearing right now. And it was like £2 something for all of this. Like, ugh, so good. But yeah, I really, I really like them. Anywho, let's move into foundation. And today I want to use my Fenty. And my shade is 430. And I'm literally running out. So I'm doing you on. But I'm going to wait until nothing will actually come out. Then I'll buy another one. 
that could be now because this is struggle to pump things out there we go there we go it's just a little bit of a push right so taking my foundation brush i'm just gonna paint my face literally And the reason why I'm avoiding putting foundation on my forehead is because I already got concealer there when I did my eyebrows. I kind of blended it upwards. And if you have too much foundation on your forehead, especially when you're wearing a frontal, it creates that lace line. And I'm not trying to have that today. So the less products you put on your forehead when you're wearing the frontal, the more natural your frontal looks. So that's a tip. You learn something new every day, innit? Our people, so now that my foundation is done, I'm going to move straight into concealer and I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Fawn. I'm just going to put this on all the areas that I highlight. Okay, so I'm going to take like the brush of this concealer without, without squeezing out any more products basically and I'm going to like create a line here so my eyeshadow is nice and sharp so right there just draw like a line just like that yeah and then do the same on this side And I'm blowing my face because um, if you let your concealer dry just a tiny, just a tiny little bit, it gives you more coverage. So I'm just gonna dry my concealer just, just slightly, not too much. But if you're using a dry concealer, don't do this. Then obviously you won't be able to blend it. But because this Ellie Girl is very like creamy, it doesn't dry that quick. So I can basically do this, and I'll be fine. Now I'm grabbing my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend. Okay, now what you wanna do is take the flat side of the sponge and just blend. You see these harsh lines right here? You don't want it to be there, so just blend it. Okay, I'm happy with that. And now I'm just gonna set this using my mixture of Fenty and Honey and the LA Girl, not the LA Girl, the Black Hole Pulp Powder in medium. So, yeah. all right guys now that the highlighted areas are set i'm going to use the black opal powder this is in dark and i'm just going to use this all over my face pretty much Okay, so now that everything pretty much is set into place, going to contour. So I'm going to grab my contour um, brush and I'm going to take the Saharan Blush Volume 1 um, palette and it looks like this. So I basically use this colour here, it's called Abbey. And I use that to basically bronze slash contour. It's very pigmented, so you only need a little bit. 
so yeah as you can see it's a bit of like a reddish tone and i like that because it gives me a nice bronzed face Okay, and now what I'm going to do is take, um, where is it, right, so it's a very small, it's like an angled surface brush, using the same blush palette, I'm going to take this colour here in the middle, and it's called Neil, take literally this smallest bit, and I'm going to use that to contour my nose. And when I do my nose, I, I really only focus it here. I don't like bringing it all the way down, so. Okay, and now I'm just going to wipe away all the excess powder. Okay. And now I'm going to blush and I'm going to take these two here, these two colors. I'm going to take Neo and Toby. Ooh. I like a lot of blush, so don't be scared. <laughs> See, now my face just looks dimensioned, okay, if that's a word. It's just there's lightness here, there's colour on my face. I don't want to look one colour because that's just weird. Okay, so now what we're going to do is spray the face to just melt everything together. Right, so basically, yeah, I was watching Jackie Arna's video of like, how to make your foundation last my foundation usually lasts anyway but what she said is when you spray your face instead of like fanning it take a beauty blender and dab it in but <laughs> i don't know if i want to risk it i just don't want to make my makeup patch it but then it, it makes sense if you pat it in it's not like go into the skin so you know what shall we do it let's let's do it It's working, it's not ruining anything, so we good. Oh my god, my skin looks flawless. Okay, that didn't ruin anything, so I'm pleased. Right, what shall we do now? Right, we're going to do our under eye using the same orange shades we've been using. So what I'm gonna do is take this brush. Um, I think I'm gonna use, we're gonna use a darker orange because I think that's popping a bit more. And literally just run this under my eye. Okay, we happy, right, highlight time, okay, I'm gonna go with my Colourpop highlighter, this is in the shade Candyman, I've never actually realised the shade name at the back, because I just, I just, I, ugh, what, I can't talk, <laughs> I usually just say, oh yeah, I'm using my Colourpop highlighter, I don't really say like, oh, this is the shades or oh, whatnot, so. Okay, 
shining. Okay. Take your blush brush and your blender even more. There we go. Okay. Taking my pointy brush, I'm just gonna pull highlight right here. Okay, now for our inner corners, I'm going to use that gold shadow that we use in the center. Okay, I'm happy with that. Gonna do our lower lash line. So I'm gonna fan this so it dries because I don't want it to run all over my face. Okay, so now we're going to do our lips and I'm gonna use my dark brown lip liner. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Primark lip gloss and this is in the shade um, Nude Ambition. I'm just going to pour this all over my lips. Alright guys, I think we are done. Right, let me fix my hair so this look can come together. Okay. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I just like orange. Actually like ugh, I might as well say my favourite colour is orange and yellow because I think it looks so cute. It's like everything just came together. You got the hair, you got the cute eyelashes. And oh my god, and my skin looks flawless. I I love this Fenty foundation, like it's so good. But yeah. So this is how the eyeshadow looks. What do you guys think? Do you like the whole sunset vibe and whatnot? It's a pretty it's a pretty easy thing to do because compared to how like I do all the cut crease and whatnot, this was literally like three eyeshadows. And just blending it all over your eyes and yeah so it's very very easy to do but then it looks like you put in so much effort even though you really, you really did not you really didn't but yeah so guys make sure you're subscribed hit that like button if you like this video and make sure you share the video as well and make sure you also hit the notification bell so you get notified when i upload next and all that great and good stuff so yeah now i'm just gonna do some slow mo because i think i look very cute and I, and I need to do that so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye